today we are going to talk about how to properly compile your forms and papers before officially sending them to USCIS. So uh, obviously before you send your K-1 packet or your I-129F packet to USCIS, you have to double check or triple check everything to make sure that um, it's ready to go. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did, what we did with my husband, uh, with my husband uh, back then, 2016 when we filed K-1 visa. So this is the original submission that we have. Anything I did with USCIS, anything dealing with U.S. immigration, whatever paper, receipts, documents I received from them, I keep them with me um, since 2016. So I have a hard copy and I also have a duplicate copy. And I'd like to share with you guys the things that I do to make sure that I have copies of everything and how I keep it. So before we send our K-1 visa packet, um, this is the original form. So I'll show you. We only put it in an envelope, uh, in a folder. We compile everything in one folder. We have all of the forms and papers in one folder and we use a paper clip. So it depends on how thick your forms and papers are. So definitely if it's a thick of thicker than these, then you can use a bigger version of a paper clip. Or if it's thinner than this, then you can use like a, a very small version of the paper clip. So this is how we did it. We only piled them up in a folder. And after having everything in the folder, we use this brown envelope. We call it clasp envelope, but some people also call it manila envelope. But it has, a, this one is broken. They usually has like a clip on it so you can um, secure and kind of close it like that and then put a clip on it. So, but this is the one that we did last time we filed our K-1 visa. But they also have some different version like this one right here. Just like an old version of a regular brown envelope. So anything similar to that, you can use that when you file your forms or your papers to USCIS. And one more tip guys, before you send everything to USCIS, you should check out Type in Google USCIS filing tips. They have all the instructions in there of what you can do and the materials you can use before you officially send your package or your packet to USCIS because those um, instructions in there on their website, they have some preference. So as much as possible, you want it as convenient as possible for the officers to open your package. You want it to be as easy as possible for them to open your package. So definitely and obviously they don't prefer a clear book they don't like um, binders or um, photo album. So they don't like all those things. They want it to be simple. So it's very easy for them to open your package or your packet. So this is what we did. Put it in a folder. Clip them with a big whatever you have, paper clip or a, a, a bigger version. What I don't know the official name, but I call it paper clip. And you also have like a bigger version. If it's too thick, you can do that. And put the folder inside here in a clasp envelope just to guarantee that it is secure and safe so that's how we did it and guys when i also did it before you officially send your package to uscas you have to make sure that you have a duplicate of all things that you have every single form or paper or supporting document that you sent to uscas you should have a duplicate you can have a photocopy or you can also have a soft copy so what I did with mine, I have both. I have a duplicate, which is a hard copy, and I also have a soft copy, and I put it in here. So I have a flash drive with me where I keep all the soft copy of the things that I sent or even received from USCIS. Anything, any paper, anything related to US immigration, I have soft copy in this flash drive, and I put a file name on it. I, uh, I like arrange them per folder. So whatever application it might be, I have it in a file name under different folders so that way it is organized and you can always pull it up for future reference in the future with whatever you need so um this is just some tips that i'm showing you because we all we are all creative we we have our own ways of being resourceful of being creative and organizing things so this is the way i do it so i definitely like to have both ways the hard copy and a soft copy but some people they might not want to keep all this you know copies of papers so you can also just use the soft copy and make sure that you have a scanner 
where before you officially send everything to USCIS, you scan it first and then you save it to your laptop or your flash drive and you have a soft copy where anytime in the future you can just pull it out and print another copy because you have it in the flash drive. But if you don't like dealing with that, you can always just do simply photocopy and keep the hard copy wherever you go somewhere in a safe place. And also I have this thing guys, just want to share with you this one. I had this since I was in college. Anything paper, I keep it in here. Um, things that are important, like any the personal documents, I have it in here. And inside it are like different types of folders. So let's say this pink folder, I have it for a different purpose of different types of documents. For like green folder, I also have it for a different purpose. For like yellow folder, I also have some things that's in there that are um, anything related to USCIS. So this is what I use. Maybe you can also buy something like this. It's very durable. Is that the right term? Durable. It's heavy duty. It's like a thick plastic and then it's like fabric on the side. So it really holds up like heavier um, papers. So I had this for maybe seven years, but I still have it with me. So whenever I go, let's say, for example, I go to Social Security, anything personal documents I have, I have it in here. So let's say I have, I have, I have to go to Social Security and get like a Social Security number or a Social Security card, um, but I don't know the requirements. But anything personal documents, I just keep it in here just in case they ask me for whatever. I can pull it out from here and then I could give it to them. I don't have to go back to my house because I forget this, I forgot that. I just have them all in here. So whatever they need from me, anything to do with my personal information and background, I could show them whatever papers they want from me. So it's very convenient and I think it's ideal if you have something like this. So anytime you don't come back to your house, if you forget things, you just have all your personal documents, whatever is important, put them in somewhere safe just like this and carry them with you. So whenever you visit any government offices, you always have something to present them and you get things done that day. You don't have to go back the next day because you're missing something. And like so, like your, all your passport, um, whatever papers you have that are um, related to your personal information, you should have it with you all the time. So this is what I do anytime I deal with papers, especially that um, when you arrive here in the, um, in the US and you're still gonna be dealing with uh, USCIS, with the US immigration, for approximately three to four years before you're officially done with it. So you make sure that you have everything with you safe and you keep it somewhere where you don't forget it, where you don't just randomly throw it. And also, guys, this one, just a random bag. So it's like a grocery bag, but I recycle it and use it as for, for myself. So I also have here like duplicates of hard copies. So I have this for the duplicate of my soft copy. Um, you know, in a folder, um, in my flash drive. And I also have this where I have everything duplicate with different types of application dealing with US um, immigration. So before when I apply for my travel document, when I apply for my work permit, when I apply for green card, when I apply for renewal of green card, when I apply for US citizenship, I have all the duplicates in here. Plus I have the soft copy just in case I lose the duplicate. I have a soft copy in here as well. So one more tip guys, let's say for example, you don't like dealing with hard copies because you don't like keeping them somewhere. So you prefer to scan. If you have a printer with scanner, take advantage of that and make good use of it. So you can definitely have it with you. But if you don't have a printer, you can always, but you like having a scanned copy, you can always go to a public library because they have it in there. They have a scanner, they have copier, they have printer. And um, um, I think it's for free when you go to public library. The only thing that's not for free is when you print something, but that's only cost you like 25 cents or 50 cents per, per, per print. So something like that. So you have some ways to do it. So, cause we're all different. Some people, they like to have actual papers with them. Some people, they're kind of modern and they just want to carry something like this where they don't have to deal with any um, hard copies of papers. So whatever you prefer, you make sure that you have, you have it with you. Just for future reference, because when you arrive in the U.S., you're not gonna have, you still have many years, a few years, or even four years to deal with U.S. immigration. So anything, papers that you receive from USCIS or you send to USCIS, you have to make sure that you have it all 
um, arrange, you have it all um, properly compiled somewhere. So when USCIS needs it from you someday, you can always pull it up and you know send to them if they want it. Any any occasion that might be possible that you would need it, so you could have it. Just to avoid headache, just to avoid problems. And when you are, let's say for example, you prefer the soft copy and you save it in a flash drive. One more tip, guys. I've learned it in college. Um, so when you save your soft copy, like a, I don't know if you set you save it as PDF or you save it as um, JPEG or as picture. So what I do is I both I do as picture and I also do as PDF. So whatever format you prefer, it, it works both ways. You can do as picture, which is the JPEG, and or is that PNG as dot PNG or dot JPEG or dot PDF. Whatever is the format, make sure that you put them all in different folder. So let's say if you're if you are uh, applying for travel document, you can make a name out of it in a folder, say travel document, and all of the personal documents that you have in a travel document. And then another folder separately for, let's say, work permit. So exclusive, just anything related work permit. So another folder travel document, separate folder for um, work permit, separate folder for green card. So you have organized things of like the papers or the copies that you can easily find in your laptop or in your flash drive. And then save all your folders inside a folder. That way you avoid the virus in case you get a virus on your laptop or wherever. You avoid the virus from damaging your papers and you can still redeem. You avoid them from corrupting the files so you can still redeem the files if you save a folder inside a folder. So that's the best way to save files in your computer in your flash drive so make sure that you save a folder inside a folder to protect your file from being corrupted with virus just in case so that's how i do it so i hope you understand what i'm saying i'm sure you do because most of us deal with computers so um i'm sure you do get what i'm saying so hopefully that works for you guys whatever works for you um, you can do hard copy, you can do soft copy, but for me, I highly recommend to do both since if you have the resources, then just go ahead and do that. If you have the printer with scanner, take advantage of it. If you don't have it, but you would like to have some, go to a public library because it's for free. You only pay for uh, the things that you are, are going to print, but it's very cheap. And then if you don't like the soft copy, then just go for the hard copy and just make sure you keep them somewhere safe. And do not forget... Um, your papers so when you're moving you always keep them with you so that's it guys that's it so that's very simple you can use a folder and put the folder inside an envelope and then send it to USCIS after you officially make copies either a soft copy or a hard copy and save them so that's it for today guys I hope you have a great day bye bye